what we were interested in is re trying to repurpose the medication. And what interested us is the neurophysiology. Uh, one hallmark of dyskinesias is that you actually have hypersynchronous activity in the corticosteroidal systems. Subanesthetic ketamine has been used to treat depression and migraine headaches, which have similar hypersynchronies in different brain areas. So we extended that research into pre in our preclinical models and showed that ketamine indeed can attenuate and reduce dyskinesia in the animal model. So we stepped forward now uh, to uh, start that in the clinical setting with a phase one, two trial. The details of the trial is uh, to to mimic the 10-hour infusion that we've shown in the preclinical model, but to allow us to do outpatient infusions, uh, we decided to do a two uh, five-hour infusion within one week so that you could do it as an outpatient procedure. So on the first uh, visit, we did a dose escalation uh, to get the highest tolerable dose for the patients. Uh, we aimed for 0.3 mg per kilogram per hour. And on the second visit, that was, as I said, within a week, we would use the maximum tolerated dose, ideally 0.3 mg per kilogram. Then people were evaluated. Uh, the participants were evaluated at the end of the infusion, three weeks post-treatment and three months post-treatment. And the results that we saw uh, look very promising, given that this is a open label uh, phase one, two trial with a small patient population. We did see a over 50% reduction of dyskinesia as evaluated uh, by the dyskinesia rating scale, uh, the UDIS-RS. At the end of the infusion and also three weeks post-treatment, and even three months post-treatment, there was still a 41% reduction in dyskinesia. We also evaluated the UPDRS, the Parkinson's rating scale, and saw at three weeks, a significant 25% reduction in, in the UPDRS score as well. Thirdly, we evaluated depression symptoms since it's been used for, to treat depression, and depression is important in Parkinson's disease. And we also, uh, using the HAMD rating scale, show that over 50% reduction in the HAMD rating scale numbers as well that were highly significant. And fourth and last, we also looked at pain and showed a small but significant reduction at three weeks post-treatment in worst case, uh, worst, worst pain. We indeed are currently uh, working to set up a large multi-institution, uh, double-blind, placebo-controlled uh, phase two, three clinical trial that we're hoping to get going before the year is over. Well, maybe the, the last thing I just want to mention that this whole study was funded by the Arizona Biomedical Research Commission with a grant of their uh, 